What's going on guys, Mardi, welcome guys back to another mod review. So today guys, I am reviewing the shader mod. Yes, you guys probably already heard of it and know about it, but not many people know how to actually install it because since the developer actually stopped uh, updating the mod, a lot of other people kind of took over it and then they started making their own versions and I don't know, it kind of just got lost and a lot of people didn't know how to kind of get the right version for the right Minecraft or they didn't know how to install it and it was just super freaking complicated. So in today's uh, video, what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to show you how to download it, the mod in a few easy steps and how to install it and how to set it up very easily. So first of all, guys, what you need is a Minecraft Forge. Many of you guys probably already know how to install Minecraft Forge or how to download it. So I'm going to have the link in the video description. When you come to this page, go down to a recommended 1.6 two i have already downloaded minecraft forge so i'm not going to go ahead and download it again and then you need this link this is the link which you're going to actually get the whole shader mod and the shader packs and then when you have both of those stuff downloaded you open the folder which you have just downloaded which is called the shader mod and uh, the shader pack so you open it up to get those two files which i just highlighted and uh, drag them out like so because i already have them on the desktop i'm just going to replace them and when you do all you have to do now uh, just make sure you have all of those three files like so all right so now what you need to do is just install forge to install it it's very simply done just double click the forge jar and then when it's open uh, select the install client hit ok and that's it you've done you have just installed it forge so uh, the next step is going to your minecraft that launcher open it up when it's loaded just wait for your second when it's loaded what you need to do now is create a new profile and then in here you could just put whatever you want to put so i'm gonna just put forge test just because i'm kind of testing this for you guys and then you need to come down to what it says use version and then go all the way down to uh the release 1.6.2 forge etc so just select it and then hit save profile before you actually press play change your profile to the forge test hit play and wait for the whole minecraft to kind of generate a new mod folder which you're going to be able to place your uh, shader mod in so now what we need to do is access the minecraft folder uh, you could probably do it the old way of you know uh, going to run and then percent up data but i like doing it this way uh, go into option resource pack open resource pack and then uh, go into your minecraft like so and then in here as you can see now we have the mods folder open this up and then maybe you could just minimize that minecraft and then just place this somewhere on the screen i think here should be fine and then uh, now drag your shader mod inside it so that's it you've installed your shader mod all you have to do now is get the packs working and that's pretty much it so open minecraft again when it's open i'll show you how to add now all the packs and this is going to be the, like the final step uh, but first i think i'm going to just change a few settings in minecraft because i've just kind of installed a fresh copy and everything is like extremely large and let me just change the brightness first and the gui to normal okay let's get back into the mod so what you do is go into the shaders and then just click on open shader packs a folder like so and then minimize up minecraft they drag this one into somewhere you could see uh, the behind the folder open the shader pack folder like so and then drag everything's now into your shader packs within minecraft so now close this one here close this folder and you are done you are 100 percent done this is how easy to actually install the shader packs now in my style so done and okay so i've actually just forgot to show you the list look at this it's one heck of a huge list it's got like a ton of different shaders make sure to check them out some of those actually work slightly better than others in different like texture packs and uh, yeah just make sure to check them out see which one kind of work best for you uh, so for now what i'm actually going to do is first i'm going to go into minecraft with the default texture pack show you how they look uh, not show you all of them because otherwise i'll be here all day show you how some actually looks and then maybe change into my texture pack and show you how uh, they Look with my texture pack some of them so i'm gonna show you my favorite ones and then uh from there you could just you know pick your own ones and uh, choose which one is your favorite so this is like the very sort of basic stand all it does just add a bit of shadows into the grass and uh, kind of a bit of a highlight to the trees and stuff like that but not too much i'm gonna show you one of my favorites and uh, hopefully i'm gonna find it as i said it's a huge list oh my gosh i can't remember which one come on which one is it i think it's that one no i think it is i'm not too sure there's quite a few, dude. as you can see, the most of them, they have pretty much the same name, but just different description, I suppose. I think it's that one here, yes. Yeah, as you can see, this one looks really cool. I love it. I love the brightness. I love everything about this one. It's very sort of, uh, you know, 
calm down, relax, you know, the uh, leaves does actually move. The grass, they don't actually move. This is kind of a bit of a disappointment, but in the same time, I do actually like it because it doesn't waste a lot of RAMs. It's very sort of good if you have, you know, a basic computer. Uh, you could run this easily on it uh, without any uh, problems. Let's go now into the shaders once again. Uh, I've got another one which I really like. This few are very good for like machinima use and stuff like that. So I think this one here is very good for like machinima use, um, especially when. Uh, let me just actually do the time set first. Uh, I think it's ah uh, caps. I really hate caps. Come on, small letter commands doesn't work with caps. So time set zero, and I think this is perfect for machinima use uh, the way the kind of everything is really highlighted the shadows are so extreme shadows i suppose you have in here uh it's very cool for machinima use so if you're thinking about maybe making a little machinima video this is going to be the perfect uh, one for it so uh this is i think the only use it's going to be for as you can see as well it kind of blurs the things around so if you're actually looking at something it blurs everything's around it and just focus at whatever you're looking at i think i'm going to show you one more shader on uh, the default texture pack and then we go into my own texture pack uh let me see which one come on i think it's around this area here uh is it this one i'm just looking at them i think it's this one yes yep this one look at that this one is like extremely bright it's very summery so i don't know why i just really like it and look at that blur motion every time you kind of turn i definitely like this yep this is like one of those shaders that if you're feeling down just put it on and play it would just kind of lift your spirit i think now it's time to go into my texture pack and we're going to check out this one look at that okay so this one in my own texture pack is still look really cool uh, i think what i'm actually going to do this one of those it's uh perfect it works really well with my modern ward as well so i'm gonna select it i think it's this one is it this one or i think it's this one okay let me just go now into my modern award and then we're gonna check it out yes i think it is this one so look at that i really love this one it makes everything sort of cool summary as well this is like a sort of calm down version from the one i had before uh sort of springy looking instead of just very summary i love how everything just kind of you know all the colors all the little sort of shades it kinds of i don't know it just makes everything works uh, really well together the colors and all that stuff yeah it's definitely one of my favorites this one as as well as i said it's a huge list and then you could just go through them and then try to find your favorites and then maybe use them in your own minecraft gameplays and all that stuff so uh this one i think i would definitely give it like nine out of ten because i hardly could actually fault this one i'm just changing quickly the difficulty because i know there's some mobs spawning around i don't want any mobs in my modern world uh especially endermans i really hate them they start destroying everything so yeah this one definitely one of the very highest top in my list so yeah i really really like it and if you guys want me to do like a sort of a uh, small file with like all my favorite shader packs i'll be more than happy to do so uh, but i really wanted to kind of give you all of them and then you could just pick which one you like best and then you can just like pick up your favorite ones i suppose so for now guys uh, i think this is pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you uh, found it helpful if you did it likes very much appreciated please don't forget to comment rate and subscribe if you haven't and yes i'll see you guys later take care for now and bye bye peace